Hello guys, today we are going to part two of our uh, types of credit. We're going to be discussing installment credit and um, open credit in this part. If you haven't watched part one, I highly recommend that you first watch part one. So installment credit comes in the form of a loan with a fixed loan amount, fixed payments, and an established payment schedule. Uh, so here's an example. If I took a $12,000 loan, $12,000 loan, because installment credit is just effectively a loan, you're just borrowing money from someone and then you're paying it back. And that's the way that most credit actually works. Um, and then the fixed loan amount was I paid, uh, wait, let, let me first do the time. So I would do it for one year. Let's say it lasted for one year. And I paid back $1,000 every month. $1,000 plus interest, plus interest. And this interest, similar to revolving um, credit, is based on the outstanding principle. On the outstanding principle. If you're not familiar with this idea of outstanding principle, you can watch our video on installment versus revolving credit costs where we um, discuss this. Um, so the benefits are the payments are predictable. In this case, we have $1,000 per month. And lower cost of borrowing re relative to, why does it say installment? Relative to revolving credit. Revolving credit. So meaning just lower interest rates. That's what this basically means, a lower interest rate. Which in turn means that the finance charge, the cost of borrowing will also likely be lower. Now the pros and the cons, so benefits and costs, I guess work as well, but let me just do pros and cons, just to keep it cohesive, pros and cons, you will likely not be able to prepay the loan balance. What this means is I cannot, um, so let's say after a month, I can't say to the guy that I'm paying to, um, can I just pay you back the um, $12,000 after this first month? Um, it must be paid um, with the time. So it must be as in you must pay the $1,000 each month. Um, and oh, there are times that you might be able to do this, but you know, usually not. And then there's also that strict payment plan of $1,000 every month, $1,000 per month. I thought that I would have something to write up above on this one, but I guess not. Oh, I guess not. So uh, now we're going to go on to open credit. The open credit is uh, also known as a charge card. Full repayment is required, but no interest rate associated. Think of this as like borrowing money from a friend. You borrow $5 for lunch. I don't have to write for, for lunch. Let me just write $5 borrowed. And then the next day you pay back $5. Then $5 paid back. And you know, you do this in a timely manner. It's not like you pay them back in three years, right? And it's not like your friend's going to be like, I want interest on this, right? So it's basically like that. Um, so the pros are no interest. And it can generate financial discipline. But this no interest is assuming it is paid back on time. Assuming it is paid back on time. If it is not paid back on time, um, the fees can be very high. Assuming paid back on time. As in even higher than revolving credit, like much higher. It's really not good. This uh, also, with this form of credit, is not commonly used nowadays. And generates financial discipline because you have to pay, you know, your things back on time. You really don't want these um, high late payment fees as we have in the cons. Very high late payment fees and charge card annual fees can be very high. The first year is free, um, but I just, well, typically free at least. Um, and then the uh, and then as it goes on, um, these cards can be very expensive to have. So, anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and goodbye.